And today is Indigenous Peoples Day. It brings recognition that Native Americans have been pushing for for decades. News 4's Amy Cho spoke with local members of the Piscataway tribe about their heritage and their continued fight for equality. Welcome to our homeland, uh, this area of Piscataway Park. Um, our people have lived here for over 13,000 years. Thank you. When you walk through Piscataway Park in Akakeek, Maryland, it feels like a portal into the past. As the waves wash up along the shore, so too do the memories passed down through generations. Ancestors are buried around the corner here at Mayon. Mary O'Harley is a member of the Piscataway tribe. It was here that his ancestors built thriving lives, and it was here that the colonizers came and took so much, forcing the Piscataway people to adapt. They had to find a new way to exist and to be able to do that for several hundred years um, and pass on the culture as much as we've been able to retain. It's kind of an amazing thing. These days, he and his fellow tribe members make sure the legacy lives on. They hold powwows, teach history and language classes, and make traditional clothing, all the while hoping to spread awareness about who they are. That we're here, that we're thriving, that we're living amongst you and we're no different from you. Tierra Thomas and her daughter Tamia, they say after all these years, they're glad Indigenous Peoples Day is finally being honored. Before it was just always Columbus Day, and now like that we've changed, I feel like we're taking a step forward into the future. I always knew that one day we would get to the point where we had recognition, and I'm happy that that happened during my generation. A continued push for recognition and respect on this Indigenous Peoples Day and every day. In Akakeek, Amy Cho, News 4.